automated data entry. There are two ways to put your transactions into home accounts. One is by importing bank statements and the other way is by doing it all manually. Home Accounts has been optimized for both of these methods. Many people prefer to use the manual method because it's a great way of checking if what you think your transactions look like the same as what the bank or credit card people think. So it makes it easier to spot mistakes. For this we use a bit of technology we call Rapid Data Entry. And let's have a look at that in action. Let's click on the All Transactions view. This is a multi-account view. In here, every transaction, no matter which account it's coming from or going to, is shown in a single table. All your transactions are kept, so you can see everything in one view. Let's enter a new transaction. First, the date field. You can type your date in any format you like, for example, 5 space 6. As you can see, the calendar has automatically set this for 5th of June in the current year. If I do now say uh, full stop and then type 2009, it's respected that as well. When you press the enter key or the tab key, it then formats the date. And that date format can be changed in the tools configuration option. But onto our transaction. Descriptions like this can have multiple paragraphs by pressing Shift Enter. Press it twice and you can start a new paragraph off. Press the Enter key when you're done. Payee. If you want to add a payee, if you're buying something, you can do here. Let's start typing the payee name. If nothing appears, it's because nothing's in the database. So click on New and add your pay name. We've not only added it to the database, but we've updated our transaction. The amount field can also be used as a calculator. So you could type in 50, but you could also type in equals 12 times 2. Press enter and the calculation is done for you. Now the most critical thing are the from and to accounts. So where the, has the money come from? Let's suppose this is a uh, credit card payment. So the money is from our credit card so you start typing it. The more you type of your credit card name, the narrower the spectrum is shown in the menu. Obviously, you wouldn't call it credit card, you'd give it the proper name for the account you actually have. So you can have as many credit cards and any accounts you like. So it's from the credit card and it's going to food. Again, the more you type in, the more it narrows it down. You can also add a new account directly from here as well. Once you start to use this, you'll find it's very, very quick. Now our next date, supposing this was on the 9th of June, you only have to type 9, press enter and away you go. £10 from this time the bank. Again, you wouldn't call it bank, you'd call it your actual bank name, or whatever you wanted to call it. Where's this gone? This has gone on petrol. You can see how it narrows it down. There are also templates you can use for one-click entry of commonly occurring things such as taking cash out of an ATM machine. This speeds it up even further. But the important point here is that you can chuck entries in here at high speed. Let's put this one on the 5th of the 4th, 2010. £100 from the bank to the credit card. You can see here we're paying off the credit card. The money has come from our bank and it's gone to our credit card. And that's how simple it is to do.